Hello everybody and welcome to another video from Duncan's Reviews and on this video we're reviewing the Bofang UV-5RH and this is going to be the unboxing video it's just arrived and there it is in its box ready for me to open so just opening the box up there we can see the radio is inside the box now that orange um, item I've just pulled out I ordered a separate aerial as well so I've paid for that aerial separately um, supposed to be a little bit better we'll have to see over time how performance goes on that but it does come with its own aerial but i have ordered that aerial as a, as a separate edition so looking at what we've got in the box there so we've got the radio itself we've got the power supply charger we've got the user manual we've got the uh, original aerial which is that one in the little clear plastic there and we've got the power supply there which has got the adapter plug on it as well now i don't like these they're not the best type of adapter plugs um, we've also got a little clip there that you can clip on the radio so you can clip it on your belt as well um, the radio itself there looks very nice and it's a uh, shiny new packaging let's just get it out and have a look got the battery there in the bottom as well and because it's a bofang these batteries are dead easy to get hold of on the ebay amazon places like that as well so yeah it looks a nice radio i've been um, looking forward to opening this because i've uh, read a lot of good reviews about this, this particular model i do hold an amateur radio license as well so i can transmit on it so yeah we've just got it out the packaging there and looking at the options on the radio there we've got the antenna socket on the top so we can screw the big aerial or the small aerial in there in the socket on the top and we've got the volume on off and the uh, numbered keypad at the very bottom there as well all the details of how to use all that is in the manual I'll cover that in another video so that's the comparison of the two aerials like i say the big aerial i did buy separately um, and we'll see how well that performs over time i heard good things about it so i thought i'll buy a separate aerial and um, we'll see how it goes but i like the idea of the, the, the little charging dock there that you just uh, sit the radio in to charge it up um it's a, it's a good idea and then that just plugs in a, a wall outlet so yeah there you go that's how it sits in the dock um if you've got one of these similar radios you'll know what it looks like there. I'm going to cover on another video, a separate video coming up very soon, operationally using this particular radio and um, all the details regarding that. Uh, coming up at the end of this video, I'll put on screen the uh, frequency coverage and the range of this particular radio. You really do need an amateur radio license uh, for this if you're going to transmit, of course on the amateur radio bands now this power lead i'm not entirely happy with i think i'm going to cut that end off and just put a normal 13 amp plug on the end um, i'm not too keen on these type of adapters myself so that's a, a job for the future so just to end this video i just wanted to show you the specifications of the uv5 rh now, I ordered my radio direct from the bofangradio.co.uk website. Um, please ignore the price on this video because it can change daily and weekly, go up and down and things like that. So please make sure you check the latest price before you actually uh, buy this particular radio. Now, one thing that stands out straight away is there we've got 900 and 99 channels so we can save up to that many channels so that's that's good that's you know going to take a lot to fill on there as well um we've got 10 watts transmitting power it says as well and um we've got the ability to frequency copy we've got type c charger as well if we want and you have got the flashlight on there as well i forgot to mention that on the original um, first part of the video but there's a flashlight on the top that you can turn it off and on as well might come in useful uh, one thing to note as well when you're actually ordering this um, you've got this little version button here that says multi-band or tri-band now if we just scroll down the page here further down we'll see here about the multi-band and the tri-band 
options. Now it's all down to what frequency range the actual radio covers. Now I've bought the multiband, um, so it covers the FM radio um, band for receiving, and it's got the AM band there, 108, 136, that's the air band for receiving. Now I can transmit on uh, two meters and 70 cent centimeters, which is the 144 and the 430, because I am a licensed amateur radio operator, so I can transmit on those frequencies. So that's why I went for the multiband one. Now, if I'd have gone for the tri-band one, um, I wouldn't have the FM radio and I wouldn't have the uh, air band. I'd just have the other bands. Now, the only additional band um, that you sort of lose out, you're losing out of the air band really on the tri-band if you look there, because you've got the VHF one, VHF two, um, UHF one, UHF two. Now, two hundred to two sixty megahertz. I believe that's a military use. Again, three fifty to three ninety. Again, I think that's possibly military as well. So that's why I went for the um, multiband option because it was the better option for me because I do like listening to the uh, aircraft as well. So this is a comparison here. Uh, the one on the left is the one that um, I've I've purchased, which is the 5RH, which is this video. And the one on the right is the 5R, which is like the predecessor, if you like. So it shows you the difference in display. We can see there we've got the color graphical display and things like that. We've got a difference in power. The other one's got 5 watts. This has got 10 watts. And we've got the color full color screen as well um, wireless copy frequency function which i've not looked at as well and the knower as well there as well and it tells you it's got better battery capacity as well so that's looking at it on the website and that's the specification so i just thought i'd go over that um, with you because it's interesting just to cover on this unboxing video what you can actually do with it um Another additional thing I've bought as well for this radio as well is I've bought a USB cable that allows you to um, run some software to copy um, and frequencies from your PC to the radio and edit the frequencies that way. Because obviously inputting frequencies and names and things like that on the radio with that keypad is going to be a little bit difficult. So I bought this um, cable. I will cover that on a different video entirely because that's going to be another challenge setting that up and installing the software and everything like that. But it only cost me a couple of pounds. So um, we'll do a separate uh, video on that. I'll get that sorted to show you how to copy the frequencies over and things like that. So keep a look out for that. If there's anything else you want to know about this radio, like I say, I'm going to do another video very soon to actually show you the radio in use. Um, we'll have a scan around the band and things like that and see how well it uh, performs. I did buy, like I say, as well, the separate uh, separate aerial because I heard that the separate aerial was a little bit better than the original aerial. So um, for the cost of it, it was around about £10 or something for the separate aerial. So I thought it's probably worth worth buying that separate antenna. OK, everybody, thanks for watching this uh, unboxing video of the UV5RH and keep a look out on my channel and I'll soon put up another video showing the operation of this radio. Thanks, everyone.